everyone. So this problem is meant to follow up on the last one we did on stoichiometry. Here I'm going to go over another simple example and then follow up with a shortcut to it if you don't want to lay out the whole groundwork each time. So this problem is asking for the mass of oxygen in 7.2 grams of aluminum sulfate, Al2SO4 in parentheses 3. So First thing first, we do have to find the total molar mass of aluminum sulfate. Working this out correctly will give you 342 grams per mole. Setting everything up, we are given 7.2 grams, so it's again given mass divided by the total mass. Setting it up, 7.2 grams of aluminum sulfate. Always write down the whole thing if you're just getting started because you want to see your units cancel out. This relates to one mole of aluminum sulfate, which in turn relates to 342 grams per mole of aluminum sulfate. Canceling out the grams, we are left with one mole relates to, here's the takeaway, one mole of aluminum sulfate corresponds to 12 moles of oxygen. And you see this right here, four oxygens inside, multiplied by the 3 outside. That gives us 12. This corresponds to one mole of the whole thing. Now we multiply how many grams there are of oxygen per one mole of oxygen, which is 16. Multiplying across, you'll be left with 4.04 grams oxygen as the mass if there were only 7.2 grams of aluminum sulfate. Make sure your answer makes sense. It makes sense if the given mass is less than the gram formula mass, that the mass of oxygen as your result should also be smaller. Okay, now for the shortcut. It's really straightforward and the same kind of work. You're multiplying 16 by 12, basically the gram of oxygen, or whatever element you're given, times the number of moles there are in the whole thing, which in our case is 12. You divide this by the mass of the whole compound, 342 in our case, and then multiply that by the given mass of the whole thing that they gave us, 7.2 grams here. This ratio right here gives us the ratio of oxygen to aluminum sulfate, which is a little over 56% of oxygen. We can then multiply the percentage that we got by the given mass of the compound. Working this out is based on the same steps that we did up here, except without the unit measurements. I do want to stress that if you're not familiar with this, start easy and write the whole thing out. If you would like more examples of this, feel free to leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching.